This lecture is about strings. And strings are nothing more than vectors of characters. And we've seen characters um, many times in what we've done thus far. So what I'm going to do in this brief intro, or in this intro, I'm going to um, illustrate how strings and characters uh, work just like vectors do. So strings are vectors of characters. So let's do some examples. Let's say if I have uh, the vector that we're used to, um, let's call it number, and we have the vector 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay. Um, and of course if we do, um, if we try to evaluate number at index 1, that's number 5, number at index 2, that's the number 6, number at index 3, that's the number 7, and number at index 4, that's the number 8. Okay, so let's by my means of comparison and contrast, let's go over here and let's say we have a variable name and that's defined as the vector T E C H. Okay. Um, then we go name at one is the character T, name at two is the character E, name at three is the character C, and name at four is the character H. Okay, so T E C H. Now, the interesting thing about strings is I don't have to write this out as separate characters, I can write it out. So if another vector, number A equals T E C H. Well, um, and as long as I put the, the single quotes here, um, then it recognized this is this as a string, which is the same as the vector of characters. So what I'm asserting here is that these two are the same thing. And so I do number A at one that's going to be um, the character T. Number A at 2 is going to be the character E. Number A at 3 is going to be the character C. Number A at 4 is going to be the character H. So these two implementations, this is a vector of strings excuse me, this is a vector of characters and this is a string. In other words, the quotes are containing multiple characters. Uh, these two act equivalently in MATLAB, so you should no longer have to write something out this way in terms of doing vectors of characters. You can just write the string out this way inside the single quotation marks. So that's something to, ver to note is that this and this are the same and that a string is nothing more than a vector of characters. Now, I want to take and build on that idea. If a string is a vector of characters, um, then let's erase this and look at how you can do a vector type things on a string. So once again, we'll go back uh, to the variable name. And once again, let's make that equal to T E C H, the string T E C H. Okay, all right. Um, now, if we did name evaluated at two colon three, well, what's that going to give us? That's going to be the string E C. If we did name, well, let me go back because this is index one, this is index two index 3 and index 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And so uh, name index 2 colon 3 is going to be from 
the second index to the third, which is which are the characters EC and gives you the string EC. Name one colon two colon n. That's going to give you uh, the string, um, the first index, which is T. You in you skip two, and so that will give you the first index and the third index, and so that gives you the string T C. If we did name, and this is one that you may use often, um, end negative one to one. Well, that says start at the end and count backwards by a step of neg of one, and then um, stop at one. So what you're going to wind up with is the string backwards, uh, H C E T, and so that's a way that you can reverse a string. Okay, um, so functions just like numbers. Uh, let's go back and let's say if we had uh, the variable num for number. And it was equal to, we'll do it again, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then um, if you did these functions and operations on numbers, you get num at 2 colon 3 is going to give us uh, the vector 6, 7. Num at 1 colon 2 colon end will give us the vector five seven because you're going to index in the first spot and the third spot just like you did over here and num at end colon negative one colon one is going to give us the vector in reverse which will be eight seven six five so I draw this for parallel strings and, and vectors of numbers. So these are vectors of characters, vectors of numbers, but the vector operations work identically on both. And so if you're good with your vector operations on numbers, then you should be equally as good with your vector operations on strings. Okay, so let's um, let's go forward and, and, and keep and keep with this example here. Uh, let's say I was gonna go and I define something called num2 num2 and num2 equal the vector 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and I came here and said num 3 is going to equal concatenation of num with num2. Well then what's num3 equal? Well I just concatenate um, num and num2 and so I wind up with 5, 6, 7, 8, concatenate it with that, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay? Well, let's go over here and define something called name 2. And name 2 equals the string N O L O G Y. Knowledge. Okay. So then if I do name 3 equals name concatenate it with name 2 that should give me the string name is T-E-C-H capital T lowercase e-c-h and name 2 is N-O-L-O-G-Y so that will give me um, that will give me the string technology. Okay. Um, so you can see concatenation works the same with strings and characters as it does over here 
with vectors. Once again, vectors are just uh, strings are just vectors of characters. So if you understand your numeric vector operations, they work very much the same um, with characters. All right. So let's go over here and do another one. Let's say we do. Let's say over here we did num three. In the fifth spot equals the empty vector. Well, in the fifth spot, that's one, two, three, four, five. So the nine is going to be removed, right? So what happens is you get the vector five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Well, what happens over here? Uh, when you do name three index in the fifth spot equals the empty vector. Well, you wind up with the string T E C H. The N gets removed. O L O G Y. Okay, so it's the same thing as if you had done it. With um, if you had done it with the vectors over here. So uh, let's look at one more case. Uh, and we're going to look at another case here uh, where we're going to do um, num. Finish this one in another color here. There we go. Another black marker. There we go. Um, we're going to do another one. Num. Um, let's say there are. Let's say there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine elements here. So let's say if we said num of twelve equals the number, let's say ninety-nine. Okay. Well, as we know from before with numbers, we're going to pad with zero. So we'll go five, six, seven. 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Let's see, that's index 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we need a 0 here in spot 10, a 0 here in spot 11, and then the 99 will go in spot 12 because that's what happens. MATLAB is smart enough to pad you with a couple of zeros here, even though there was not a 12 slot in the vector. Um, and I'm sorry, number three. Even though there was not a 12 slot in the vector number three. Over here on the string side, let's say if we did name three sub 12 uh, equals, I don't know, let's just say capital G. Okay? Well, what happens? Well, um, what you wind up with is, let's see, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So what's going to happen is you're going to get the string T, E, C, H, O, L, O, G, Y. Then it's not going to pad with zeros, but since there are strings, it pads with spaces. And so you're going to get a space here. And I'll just put the underscore here, but that doesn't actually go in. I'm just trying to indicate a space. So that's the space here. So this is all the way to index 9. Index 10 uh, gets a space. Index 11 gets the space. And then in spot 12 goes the G. And so the string winds up looking like this. So instead of padding with zeros as it does over here with the numbers, it pads with spaces over here on the string side. Okay, so these are just some similarities in working with vectors of numbers and working with vectors of characters, which are known as strings. And so uh, don't be afraid to experiment and try all of your vector uh, number operations over here on the string side. Um, next up, we're going to do some more comparisons of how vectors and numbers and vectors and strings uh, work together.